does an abandoned rock in the sea look boring? Well, you're wrong. We are at Arcasa, an ancient Greek city that has had the same name for more than two and a half thousand years. To protect residents, ancient Greek cities were often located on hills called the Acropolis. Acropolis literally means upper city, and you guessed it. We are now walking towards the Acropolis of ancient Arcasa. You can go up via the road on the right past the small Agia Sophia church, but don't forget to look in front of the church at the beautiful floor mosaic of the Agia Anastasia church that once stood here around the 5th century. The higher you go on the mountain, the more you probably realize that this Acropolis provided perfect protection was only against attackers from land, but also from sea. Only when you stand in front of the walls, you experience how big the fortress must once have been when it was still maintained. Today, the Greek call the mountain Paleo Castro, which means Old Castle. Most parts of the walls you see date from the Middle Ages, when the island was frequently attacked by Arab and Italian conquerors. But some wall sections here date from Mycenaean times and can be almost 4,000 years old. The marble pillars reveal that in ancient times a Lindia Athena temple stood here in honor of the goddess Athena. Excavations in 1925 showed that afterwards an early Christian church must have stood here. Remains of two Roman houses were also found. The archaeological museums of Arcasa and Pegadia display Roman pottery found on Palio Castro, and even in Rhodes you can find objects from this Acropolis. Close to this Roman house, which even has a fireplace, a cistern has also been found to store water. But of course you've noticed that a lot of artefacts of this Acropolis have been taken away. Not archaeologists, but local residents have taken a lot of stone and marble from here to use as building material for their own houses. It is known from ancient Greek sources that next to the temple for Athena, there must also have been a hierothitian on this Acropolis. That's a dining room for priests. There were a total of three basilicas in the city, and tombs that are still nearby reveal that the city was busy and prosperous in those years. In their writings, ancient Greek historians Silax and Strabo already mentioned the people who lived between these stone walls of Archesia. And the residents of this ancient city also had the same fate as we do today. In ancient Greece, taxes also had to be paid, and Archesia was mentioned as one of the four wealthy cities on Carpathos to pay taxes to Athens. It will now be clear to you that we are walking through the streets of a once important city. People like you and me drank, laughed, cried, and most of all, lived here. That's the story of this barren, deserted rock in the sea. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.